So I think now we're going to transition to talking about uh, CI and, and CD. Um, are you, do you have some things to show us? Or? Yeah, I have like one slide, and then you can ask me about showing things. Perfect. All right. So while you're setting up uh, to, to show the one slide, uh, as we think about using containers and uh, expanding our use of microservices and things that use containers, uh, we think about the entire tool chain uh, on each side of containers. And, and on the sort of deployment side and the integration side of containers, we have CI uh, and CD, which are, uh, are super important uh, to helping get those apps to production um, in a standardized uh, and automated way uh, so that we can make sure that they're performant uh, sure. and doing the things that we want for our customers. So we really uh, want to make sure that we're uh, providing great options for you when you're using things like Fargate um, in the CI and CD space. So, Tiffany, why don't you go ahead? Cool. So, some of the thing we have as AWS, we have several tools out there that can integrate with uh, ECS that you can use, or some of the other ones to pull down code, build, etc., and see what happens, and actually push that over to ECS. So for instance, there's code pipeline. So what code pipeline can do is say, I have that ECS task that I already have, that Fargate test I already have running from earlier. And I decide, okay, well, I want to have, a, well, I need a build spec for code build, which I'll kind of explain a little bit in a little bit. I need to have my source code. So say if I have, uh, my Docker file in there and everything else that I need for setup. I can push that stuff to code commit or GitHub and I can have it be different than the image I already have or every time that I want to change something I can have it so that it triggers a new build. So then code build will go and based on what your build spec has, it, you can go and have it create, say pull down my code, build what's in there and then you can give it a registry, so you can give it ECR, and get, for instance, and give the URI. So you could build, create a new repository, and then it will take down that source code, it'll build it, it'll push it over to ECR, and then it'll go for staging, that'll be to ECS, so after it successfully builds. So at this point, this is where you could also do something like including um, image scanning. So for instance, you could have part of your build spec require that it does image scanning and scans the image and only then once it's successful does it update your ECS service. So then it will automatically create a new task definition revision and it will have the updated um, registry that you, for that specific image. So. Should I, yeah, do you want to see a little bit of like how that part works? No, that's okay. Just kidding. Just Get out. kidding. I don't want to talk. Just kidding. Send the day go away. Please show. Please show us. Do I have to work for you? <laughs> He's my boss. Okay. And just to quickly show while I am at it, uh, so. Just for the previous one, uh, the other thing was you could create roles in CloudWatch events, and then the one other part was for CloudTrail. Um, you could go into CloudTrail, and you can see what ECS is doing, so like service scheduler, what I'm doing, so I could take a look at it checking the health. And you can see access key, who's doing all of the stuff, and if you want to view the event, you can see all the details for that specifically, and it automatically will do that for you. So, back over to CI/CD. So basically, so I would have uh, my ta I have my service running over here. So what I can end up doing is you can go over to code pipeline. So let's see. Oh, I actually killed some broke something there. But um, so what you can do is if you go to code pipeline, you can create yourself a new pipeline. So you can, so code pipeline, you would give it what is the source that I want. Then you create a, a using code build, which you can either do directly in a code pipeline or you can create it separately. And then you can deploy that to say ECS. 
So like you would, just to like quickly show some of it, um, you can go and give it a name. So if I'm just going to call it ecosystem, And then, so you'd give a source provider. So was, did I get from S3? Do I get my code from code commit? Did I get from GitHub? So for mine, I have GitHub. Then you can connect to GitHub, which I already did earlier. See your repositories. So like I have this one for space app. And then I have my branch. So then if I, I have one, which it was for demo. And then you can change how you want it to detect. So say if, you make a change in GitHub, it will automatically detect that and, and then it'll go and uh, pull down the new code from there. So then you can give it a build provider. So for instance, you can use code build and then you could create a new build project. So I could, or you can use an existing one. So if you like create a new one, you give it a name. So I can name it ecosystem you can use an image managed by code build or specify a Docker image either way. So here I could do an image mo managed by code build, give it Ubuntu, and then go to Docker. And then there's a version there. So it can use the build spec in the source directory. So to give an idea, if I go over to GitHub, Here, you can see that I have a build spec. So basically what it does is, so I would log into ECR. So if first you have to create the repository. So I already went to ECR and created it. So if you take a look here, if you click under repositories, you can create the repository in here. And so I created one called space. So then it goes here and it will build, create the build and then post build, it will push it to the late, say if I give a tag of latest for instance. Okay, so then if I go back over to code pipeline, then you can choose caching, you can create a service role, you can create a new role and then uh, you can give it the specific VPC, the subnets that you want, and then you can look under advanced, et cetera, and then save build project. And then so after it ends up going there, it creates an IAM role. So if you look under roles, and if I type ecosystem, if I can type, Let's see if it's created it yet. Okay, oh, I st yeah, okay. So I need to confirm that next step. Deployment provider, ECS, and then this should update. Okay, there, so now I have a new role. In order to use it with uh, ECR, you have to attach the EC one of the ECR uh, IAM permissions, so to be able to actually, um, let's see. So it's EC2 container power user. So I attach the policy and then that'll update that. So then if I go back to here, I pick the cluster that I want. So right now it's running an ecosystem. I want to update uh, eco service. In my build spec, I have uh, images.json, which is what all the images are in there. And then can use the existing role, create that, and then create your pipeline. So then you can see it going through source, build, staging. I'll have to look to see what I did wrong here. I think I forgot to, yeah, I, uh, container space does exist, so I did something wrong there. So basically, yeah, what it would do is it would create a new one. So yeah, that's a little bit of kind of showing some CICD. Awesome, Tiffany. Thanks for uh, ignoring me and showing it anyway. Uh, I'm just kidding. Just well, that's kidding. why I didn't look at you really while I was All demoing. Right. So. What we're going to do now uh, is, now that you understand some options that are available to you from AWS, we're going to welcome up Tim from Zebia Labs uh, to the stage. And while he's setting up, um, you know, we'll talk a little bit about uh, what he's going to what he's going to show. So, 
as Tiffany mentioned, CI and CD are, uh, are super important parts of the, uh, of the pipeline. We also want to make sure you're aware of the AWS options, but also the options available from uh, the partner ecosystem, um, many, of, many of which, by the way, work together uh, in, in some ways in shapes and forms. Um, so Tim's going to talk a little bit about what Zebia Labs brings to the table uh, in that respect, and I'll pass it over to